we hear the words getting old and our body, even our brain cringe. With the population getting older, unfortunately, we have had a huge shift in the kind and, and quality and amount and speed of information being processed. It's not just that older people think differently, their brains work differently, which makes processing information harder. It's just so fast. It's so fast that it's um, hard to learn, you know, so quick. What Ronald struggles with oh, wow. comes easy to Connor. Our generation is pretty uh, prolific at it. It's like not a question that any of us know how to use the internet or Microsoft Word. None of which may surprise you, but this may. Learning new technology requires all parts of the brain to work together. For the 23-year-old, it went receive, consider, 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 execute. For the 63-year-old, it went receive, consider, 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 execute. So when an older person looks at a computer screen, the left side of their brain slowly starts working to interpret the information. A younger person's brain works so much more quickly. But that doesn't mean you can't teach an old dog new tricks, because the old dog will learn. If you're interested in something and you want to learn about it and you want to engage in it, then you can do that. Facebook may have a lot of a utility for an older adult because it allows them to track their children and their children's children. So when you see that dog learning new tricks, yes, sir. Give me a or his human counterpart, remember, it's never too late to take your brain to new lengths. On behalf of our reporting team, Joe Nemec, Cayenne Fong, and Lindsay Nadrich. I'm Tanya Mendez, Cronkite News.